Hi, this video is going to show you um, Hello Bonsai versus HoneyBook. These are two awesome client management systems that you can use as an entrepreneur or small business owner. So let's dive in to see which one is right for you. Hi everyone, I'm Lainey. I'm a wedding invitation designer and I love to teach creative entrepreneurs how to run profitable, successful businesses. One of the keys to that is having a good client management system. So I've done a lot of experimenting with a ton of different systems. I have a whole playlist here on YouTube that you can check out if you want to look through some of the systems. Today I am comparing a long favorite of mine, HoneyBook, with a new one that I'm testing out, which is Hello Bonsai. Both of them I have discount codes for you that I'll put in the description of this video so you can get free trials, um, percent off, free months, etc. So check those out. Um, I really appreciate it if you would use my links if you enjoy these videos. All right, so this is Hello Bonsai. My first impression is it's really, really beautiful. Um, I love the look of this system. I'll show you HoneyBook. Some people, I think with these systems, really finding a, an interface that works for you and clicks for you is really important. Um, so this one is really nice too. Uh, these are both the dashboards. So I think you get a little bit more information. It's a little bit more useful here on Hello Bonsai. Um, HoneyBook is one that is maybe more just visually simple. Um, and a lot of people like this in this interface as well. Um, I think that Hello Bonsai is set up a little bit more, um, individual, all the different forms and invoices and products you create are more individual. So for instance, you can click on invoices and see all the invoices that you have open. Um, HoneyBook is really set up on a project basis. So with your projects, you can push them through your entire process and you can customize this process. So you can have like inquiry, follow-up, meeting, proposal sent, um, and you can customize these to however they look for you, which ones are booked, which ones are paid, and then they can archive. Um, so there's a lot of different stages and you'll see the projects in different stages, whereas um, here you can see the projects, but you can't really uh, bring them through different stages. Uh, but, but it's cool that you can see like the invoices all at once, the contracts all at once, the proposals all at once. I think that's a really nice feature for some people. Um, Hello Bonsai to me is a really great system for anyone who works on a timed or hourly basis or if you bill hourly. So they have this really great timesheet up here and then you can include, for instance, on your invoices, you can include your timesheet, which I think is really nice. So I put to hide it because I don't use a timesheet. I don't bill hourly, but you can show a link to it on here. And there's a lot of different features throughout uh, that really support the time tracking. So if that's important to your business, definitely um, use that here. Whenever you create a new project, you can include the hourly rate for that project and it will kind of time track and then fill out the invoice based on that hourly rate, which I really like. You can also do invoices that are going to be a uh, recurring Let's see what we got. Single invoice, recurring subscription, and then bundled where you kind of put a few different things together. So there's a lot of options here. Um, HoneyBook, what I like about their invoicing features, let's see. I have a whole video on HoneyBook invoices and it's actually one of my favorite features of HoneyBook. So with this one, you can actually put in like pictures of the items, which I think is really cool and something that I haven't seen in any of the other systems. Um, it's really easy to edit and move things around, separate them, whatever. And then you have a payment schedule. So you can also do recurring here. Um, not so much subscription payments, although in theory you could set that up as recurring. Uh, but what I like here is you could split the invoice in half. So if you have a deposit, that's 50% and then the final payment. That's really easy to do here. It's a little harder to do on um, Hello Bonsai, but that doesn't mean it's impossible. Something that's really cool here is when you go into contracts, they actually have... Um, these suggested templates for you. So if I click that I'm a designer, you can create a generic or blank contract. Um, but if I click that I'm a designer, it's going to go ahead and um, give me a template that's almost filled in. All I have to do is fill in some of this basic info. So I'll show you what that looks like. Um, if I go through these little steps, there's a few required fields. <laughs> And then when it creates the contract, it gives you just so many fields. There's not a ton of editing that you can do, but you can create your own contract from scratch. So if you wanted to take some of these clauses, copy and paste, edit them, these have all been looked over um, by 
a, a legal team. So they're all ready to go, which is really nice. In HoneyBook, there are also templates that you can use um, as far as intellectual property, artistic release. Um, I find that they have a few kind of fewer options and you don't get to choose based on the industry quite as much, but you can also do so much customization here. You can delete, move around, um, change the text of a lot of these things. Um, under clients here, you can create forms. And something that I like is that every form in Hello Bonsai is embeddable on your website. When you go to share, you can get a public URL, embed code, or you can always attach these to a specific project, which is really nice. In HoneyBook, your templates have something called a contact form, which is also embeddable on your website. And if you have a contact form and someone fills it out, then it will go ahead and create a project for them in HoneyBook. And then you can attach any of your um, automation workflows into, uh, it, into that lead capture form, which I think is really nice. Um, both HoneyBook and Hello Bonsai have a little bit of workflow capability. Neither of them is like the most robust in my opinion. Um, I know HoneyBook is working on some things in beta right now that will make it a little bit better. Um, but these are the triggers that you have. I think it's really helpful to get started as far as workplace uh, workflow automation. There's a lot of good triggers here. So for instance, when a form fills out, you can have it send a message, send a form, or schedule a meeting via Calendly. And I think that's really great. Um, with, with Hello Bonsai, there's not a lot of connectivity between all the automations. So for instance, you can't do a form is filled out, do this. And then when that's complete, do this. And then when that's complete, do this. Um, HoneyBook has a little bit more of that because you can do an actual uh, workflow, but you're adding these actions. Again, it's somewhat limited on the actions. There's not that many different things that you can do. But you can do something like send an email um, or create a task or send a file via email and you can choose the file and then you can change like the time frame. So three days after the previous step is complete or after the project date. Um, so you've got a few more options here as far as the different triggers. And I like that you can really visualize the whole thing um, from start to finish. So this is like how my process starts and then you kind of keep going from there. Whereas I think with Hello Bonsai, these are more uh, siloed automations, which are really helpful, especially if you're new to this and you don't want to get too crazy. I actually don't use a ton of automation in my business just because I like to have my hands on a lot of different things. So I do some things like after a form is filled out, send a thank you email uh, with some resources and blog posts they can check out to help them out and answer some frequently asked questions. But Everything that's in Hello Bonsai would actually be plenty for my business. Um, if you want to go a little bit more in depth, HoneyBook is a little better. And then there's another system called Dubsado that's actually, in my opinion, kind of the gold standard as far as automation, if that's really important to your business. Okay, with these two, you can get paid a little bit differently. Uh, you can set it up so that they include um, cards, bank transfer, or PayPal or Venmo. HoneyBook processes its own payments, so they will take their transaction fee, um, but they're not, they don't hook up to any other systems. So you can't use, for instance, PayPal, um, credit cards. You can do uh, recurring automatic payments, which is really nice. I like that you can set that up in HoneyBook so that the client can agree to get paid. Um, the client can agree to pay the second invoice automatically or third or fourth if you're doing recurring. Um, and I think that's, that's something that's really helpful if you're doing a lot of different recurring payments. It can just help you go ahead and get paid without having to send a reminder or even think about it, which is nice. Both have similar accounting features in that you can focus on how much money you've made, um, your expenses, you can download a profit and loss. To me, both of these systems um, are a little bit inadequate for accounting on its own. If you only accept payments through HoneyBook or through Hello Bonsai, then it's okay. But if you accept payments in any other way, you have to manually enter those in. So I think I still recommend a system like QuickBooks for accounting. Your accountant will love it. And this especially applies if you are going to accept any payments from like an Etsy shop or uh, from your website or anywhere outside of these systems. HoneyBooks reporting focuses a lot on like success rate of where you're booking from, um, how much time it takes to book, what lead sources are giving you the most booking. And so I think that's really cool. And if you have a ton of different lead sources and a lot of different projects, I think HoneyBook is a little bit better. You can also um, mass upload projects, clients. You can do some batch emailing, which is kind of like sending out an email list. I wouldn't overuse it because of uh, GDPR compliance, but it's still, you have that capability here. 
Um, you don't necessarily have that capability here, but there is this cool um, taxes feature that's an extra $10 a month where it will really fill out your Schedule C, remind you of your quarterly taxes, help you with um, your income tax, deductible expenses, all that kind of stuff, help you find deductions. So I like that. I think um, if you're not going to invest in something like QuickBooks and if you only accept payments through here or only a couple others that you have to enter manually, then upgrading to this and being fully on Hello Bonsai would be really great. I also like that you can share this link with your accountant so they have access to all of this information and then you don't have to like pull it for them. They can do that. With HoneyBook, you can integrate with QuickBooks. Um, it's you know, it's not going to be the best system in the entire world, but I think it works pretty well. And because HoneyBook is its own payment processor, uh, it makes it a little easier. Whereas if they weren't, then you'd have weird invoices kind of going a different amount coming in to QuickBooks than um, the invoice in HoneyBook was creating. So I have some information about that in a different video, but I think that the accounting features here are honestly pretty similar between HoneyBook and Hello Bonsai. If you do already use QuickBooks, then HoneyBook will integrate with that. So I think that's a slight plus to HoneyBook in that case. All right, last comparison is just pricing. You can get started with HoneyBook for $9 a month um, until you've collected $10,000 in payments, which I really like how they do that system. And I have a code that will get you 50% off. So you can start for $4.50 a month, which is really cool. Um, slightly more limited. Their main package is $39 a month. Same with Hello Bonsai. Um, it's $19 a month to get started. But then if you want the forms and accounting, then it is $29 a month. So it's a little bit cheaper. Um, in this case, I would not let pricing make a huge decision for you because $10 a month um, is not worth like some of those features. So I would pay attention to the interface, what feels good to you, what looks good and looks like it'll work as well as some of those features. If you are um, a if you are a business that does a lot with hourly uh, rates, time sh time sheets, billable hours, then I would recommend Hello Bonsai for sure. Um, on HoneyBook, if some things are important to you, like uploading a ton of projects at once, um, if you have G Suite, I have some information about the Chrome extension for HoneyBook, which kind of brings HoneyBook into your inbox, which I think is kind of a game changing feature. So if you do use G Suite for your business, um, definitely check out HoneyBook. But I think if any of these features feel right to you, I wouldn't let that $10 um, stop you from going in one direction or another. Also with my link for 50% off, uh, HoneyBook is a little bit cheaper for the first year. So definitely check that out. I also have a link for an extended trial with Hello Bonsai that you can uh, get in the description of this video too. So it just gives you a little bit more time to get set up and figure it out before you are paying for that service. So check out both those links. Let me know what questions you have about Hello Bonsai versus HoneyBook. And if if you're still looking, want to see some other systems, go through our client management system playlist, which has a ton of other videos on uh, several different systems like this.